Hey y'all, this is Coach Brian with Brian Boxing. Yeah, here to give you some uh, boxing news slash updates. If you haven't known, uh, Manny Pacquiao went on and defeated Jesse Vargas to retain, or not retain, to gain uh, the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. What's that mean? That means Manny Pacquiao's back, y'all. If y'all didn't know, man, he answered all questions right there. I'm just going to call it. it Manny Pacquiao could probably rule this, I mean, be a big major player in the uh, welterweight division and even a junior welterweight division uh, for quite some time. Uh, doesn't seem like he lost a step. He's maintained a, a second job, full-time um, senator position uh, in the Philippines, and he boxes on the side. It's pretty awesome. He beat Jesse Vargas, who, regardless of what people may say, Jesse Vargas was a uh, welterweight champion. Uh, he was probably going to get a fight with Errol Spence, uh, Keith uh, Thurman, uh, Danny Garcia. One of those people, he had only lost one time, which was to uh, was which a which is a controversial loss towards Tim Bradley, depending on how you look at it. Well, he almost stopped Tim Bradley in the last round. Uh, what else is it? The, Jesse Vargas was he maybe wasn't as big of a name to the the uh, day to day fan, the fly by night fan, but in the boxing world, he was a decent fighter. You know, you know, I don't see the, these pay per views didn't do too good because he's not that big of a name. But you know, in the back in the boxing world, he ain't somebody you just want to roll up on. You know, but uh, I mean. With all of that, I mean, it was it was pretty good in the early rounds. Jesse Vargas won a few rounds. I gave it to him. Uh, but uh, it was just, you can't, it was the onslaught of the Pacquiao, you know? He just kept going and going and going and never stopped. Like the fucking Energizer Bunny, dude. So, punches and bunches with power, you know? So, that's crazy. That's, and his footwork was amazing. He was able to dip in, dip out, kind of, like, point to where he wants you to go, move his feet, have you go there, and then he... He beat you to the punch, you know, it's crazy. So, I mean, he he did the same old, same old, like he always did. So, what does that mean? So, there's only basically two people out there that can beat him. Uh, 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 Marquez and Mayweather. Right now, there's this, right? No one has ever came really close other than those two, right? And, uh, you know, uh, other than them two actually beating him. So, and how you look at the Marquez fight, it could have been like, you know, Marquez beat him four times. But, you know, uh, regardless, uh, those two are out of the question. They're not obviously not going to fight each other again. So, what is that left for Pacquiao? So, oddly enough, in one of my films before, if, uh, videos before, check it out. I'll put a link in that one. You can, uh, of it, into this video, you can check it out. Where I, where I, I paid note to where um, there was a... Freddie Roach had been asked, hey, how about the Lomachenko fight? And, of course, Pacquiao was asked about Lomachenko. Both of them were like, uh, yeah, this that's that's a fight we, we wouldn't mind doing. We could still make 135, you know, which is crazy because they would they would go down to fight Lomachenko, who I, I really think is an awesome fighter, but they would forego fighting – Crawford, which is crazy because Crawford must be fucking out. They must know some shit that, that I don't know. Like when Crawford would spar Tim Bradley, you know, like what he used to. Because Tim Bradley was ba basically like, hey, dude, you need to be a champion. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't tell that to anybody who ain't giving you some good work, right? So uh, who who else is out there for him to fight? You know, so there's Errol Spence. There is uh, uh, Keith Thurman. There's Jesse Gar, uh, uh, Danny Garcia. There is just a whole slew of people who are trying to make a name and who already got their name that that can go ahead and and um, be a, a fucking great platform for if he if Pacquiao is trying to I'm gonna tell you right now if Pacquiao is trying to make a a, a big statement on that he needs to fight fight Floyd Mayweather, it seems like two things need to happen. One, 
he need to cough up maybe a little bit more money than he's offering, especially if he wants some big not some big time names, especially if any of those boxers happen to be working for PBC because they're paid, so they're just not trying to do no Trump change, right? So, oh, there's even Birdo. He can fight Birdo, man. There's so many people that are in the what It's so stacked in the welterweight division, especially at the top. Uh, so if he was really, if Pacquiao was really trying to make a statement, which I'm sure he is, which I'm sure he is, he ain't going down to fight 135. He ain't fighting Lomachenko. He's not trying to fight nobody lighter. You know who he need to be fighting? Errol, the truth, spent. That's a make or break fight right there. Mayweather said, that dude right there, that's the truth. He put in work when we were sparring, when I used him for a sparring session, right? Errol Spence, everybody running from Errol Spence. You got, no, I'm not, I'm not saying this, is this why Kell Brook went up to 160, but let's just, this is entertaining. You got Errol Spence. You got people running up to face Triple G instead of fighting Errol Spence. What the fuck is going on? This dude is he like Dark Vader's a fucking what is is he is just take he just takes the souls of everybody and everybody wants to run away from him in the welterweight division. So look, that's my that's who I'm saying he need to fight. Shit, fuck it, he need to fight Errol Spence. That would be an awesome fight. You talking about youth and power, and he's a lefty, so that kind of negates some of Pacquiao's footwork. And then uh, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a big ass welterweight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows that this dude is the next big thing. Even Freddie Roach was like, oh, you know that dude from Texas? Oh yeah, who's his name? Errol Spence. Yeah, he's badass. He's the next big thing. Everybody knows he's the next big thing. He just needs a name on the list. And look, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it could be a win lose draw for Pacquiao if he goes in there and big, uh, what beats the brakes off Errol Spence? Well, shit. Mayweather may come out, or he may not. You'd be like, "Fuck that shit, I ain't coming out." Or, I mean, I mean, he could. There's so much that can happen at welterweight. He could clean up welterweight right now. He knows that there's nobody else that's uh that's that is a Mayweather ish type person in that league, in that in that division. He could go ahead and build up on his legacy, have a couple more fights. I give him about three or four more fights, and then you know he can clean that up if he wanted to. So, all right. There'll be a link, a survey to the to uh, who Pacquiao should fight next. Please let me know. I'll be gathering that up until Monday. I'll I'll get all the data, push it together, and then Tuesday, what we'll do is we'll have a uh, I'll I'll answer questions and go over the, what the sur the results of the survey. Hey, thank you so much. Pride never quit. As always, uh, I want I'm trying to make this video. I have 100 likes, and if you didn't know that uh, my 2016 goal is to get 1,000 subscribers to this, my YouTube channel, so please, if you can help me out in any way, subscribing is free, liking is free, share, uh, comment on this video and all my other videos. Uh, thank you so much. Pride never quit. Brown Boxing out. Peace.